experience, and everyone has their own experience with trauma, grief, loss. But when you're grieving the loss of someone when they're still there, mm. in many ways, versus in this, embodying the grief and the shock mm. that happens, which I think a, a lot of people find themselves in a position of shock right now. Mm -hmm. um, what did that feel like, just from an actor standpoint, to bring to life, because it's different than your experience, but to try to to encapsulate that in your performance, which really doesn't have many words. Right. So much of it is internalized in your performance and what you were bringing to life and thinking through that, and also for Miss Anne, how you directed him through that. Well, if I jump in, because he's too humble to say this, but um, it's a joke for one of, I think, the great actors of our time to give this you know, young pup uh, an opportunity to even try and make pictures. But I don't call what we've just watched acting, as far as I'm concerned with, with David. It's something more sacred. Um, and it's akin to my favorite musician, singer, is Nina Simone. And, you know, there's, there's a great clip, uh, Montreux Jazz Fest, where I think 76 or maybe 78, where she's doing a song called Feelings. And she... She gives too much. She gives too much. She just removes anything that she has and just throws it at the audience. And there were moments when we were putting the camera on David where I was scared and unsure whether we, the collective us, deserved to be the custodian of his truth. That's just a statement I had to make. <laughs> uh, well, for me, the, the job of an actor, I, 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 I can say this because I, I know I'm in a room with people who this won't sound too conceited. Um, it, it, it's a sacred thing uh, for me, especially with a piece like this that requires you to to go to those dark corners of humanity. I think our job is to hold a mirror up to humanity. And so my job was to, on any given day with this, is to just crack my heart open and, and let the audience in, let the camera in, let Missan in, because I had had intensely private moments of grief that shocked me. Um, having a perfectly okay day, I'm in the closet putting my socks on and I just collapse to the floor and I, and I, I'm just making sounds that I, I, I don't fully understand. Um, hoping my wife doesn't come into the closet, hoping my kids don't see me in that state, um, because it feels indulgent. It feels childish. It feels completely true. It feels like I'm not doing a good job of processing my grief because what the heck? And 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 I'd had a few. I, I continue to have them. I, I had one on the on the elliptical two weeks ago. Um, and uh, grief is shocking uh, uh, to the individual, to the people around, and um, and so I just felt that um, our job was to be truthful about that, given the moment that we're in, and given the shocking nature of what happens in the, in the film.